Ladies and gentlemen, right now we are joined by Chronic Trigger! Give me a hell yeah! What's up, what's up, what's up? How we doing? Can you guys, can you guys hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, Arps. Excellent, yeah, excellent. Us. Hell yeah. Yes, we can. I appreciate you guys joining, man. If you could please uh, properly introduce yourself, let us know what each one of you do in the band and plug or promote anything you'd like. Yeah, I'm Ryan. I do the vocals. Uh, honestly, really soon we're going to be having some badass fucking music videos coming out. We're going to be doing song releases just about every month uh, right before we go on tour in the end of June. Hell yeah. So you guys already got Hi. a bunch Hi. of stuff lined up. My bad, I didn't mean to jump in, but I had a quick question. <laughs> no, you're fine. So you have a bunch of stuff like lined up already? Just It's just all t about timing right now? Uh, yeah, uh, we've been working with a management company uh, called Nocturne, and uh, the guy that, work that we work for is fantastic. He's been helping us get our social media in order and get a lot more attention in streams and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, and we're currently oh. crapping out. Oh. My bad, I'll mute that. That won't happen again. Continue. Yeah, we got a couple more songs to record, and we'll be releasing a song probably one a month until the release date in July. Um, and we're working on a claymation video, actually, that we are like two years in wow. to production on. Um, it's going to be pretty ridiculously gross. It's it's stupid. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's so <laughs> ugly. <laughs> I mean, the best way I can describe this claymation video is by telling you the title of the song, which is Plucking Pustule Peter's Poison Porky Porpoise Punchbowl Party. In that order. Hey, yo, what All the, the important things you need. <laughs> Hell yeah. You There's guys are... no other way this could be anything but a claymation video, so it's a fucking claymation video. Oh, hey, speaking uh, of uh, music videos, BG, have you seen uh, Black Metal Epilepsy, our brand new one? We have played it a bunch. I love, um, I love how, like about a minute through it goes to like the blah, 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 like that crazy like deathcore scream part and then it gets like oh. nasty for a second and then you see the dude's tongue eating the tongue you guys are known for having like really really wild videos which i absolutely love um what what is i mean you said the claymation video is going to take has been two years already how much does something like that cost well, <laughs> fortunately, <laughs> it costs that's a, that's a... pretty much nothing uh, aside from time because I'm doing all the claymation. Just like our videos, we do the storyboards, we find our locations, we do all of the production. We have a great video guy that we work with, um, and so obviously we pay him. But since we're so tight with him, we get a good price. We've been growing together since he started out. Um, but we do everything in house. That's part of why it's taken so long because I have to build all the sets, all the tiny underwear and oh yeah, Him painting and shit stains. It's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. <laughs> like Adam's wife knitted clothes for all of these claymation creatures. Yeah, yeah. so cool. That's... Just and then aging them because it's all gotta look fucked up and gross. You know, they can't have nice clothes. You know, they gotta be tattered and fucked up. So. All of that took us about a year in building all of our sets and all of our backgrounds and like posters, all the stuff in the in the video are all flyers from shows that we've done and like bands that we've played with. And it's all like little Easter eggs and shit like that. So that's taken time to try to get that shit together. And then, you know, filming 15 fucking frames a second takes a long time. <laughs> I imagine. I imagine. Uh, let's let's play. Uh, let's play cats on cocaine real quick, so people know what you guys sound like. We'll play a couple of your records, obviously, and then we'll have some fun. We'll you guys can hopefully review some bands with us, and maybe we'll do a little trivia. It's banger, absolute banger. Uh, Lloyd, what questions do you have for them? Did you go to school to learn how to do all this claymation stuff? Where did you acquire this knowledge from? <laughs> no, no, I just never had friends. Let's <laughs> do it. I'm just learning as I go along. You know, I fucked around with clay a little when I was a kid. I mean, who didn't, you know? Um, and it just seemed like a fucking good idea at the time. 
<laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. If, just learn as you go. I, I do all the artwork for our band, like all of our merch, all of that. So like, you know, drawing and all that shit is something I've always done. So just having that creative control, it kind of made sense to control this to, you know. Keep it in-house. I can dig it. Yeah, right. And we don't have any money. <laughs> so what are gonna do? <laughs> yeah right exactly fellas if the hard way. if you guys were going on a on a tour let's say a cross-country tour and you were forced to agree on a tv show or movie franchise that you had to watch this is me asking like what do you know the most knowledge about i'm gonna base my trivia around that like South Park or Star Wars. Like, I'll give you a second to think about it. But really quick, I just want to know what is going on behind you guys. If you turn around, there's something really weird behind you. You can see it. It's on the wall. If you turn around, there's awful. <laughs> They're not falling <laughs> for it. <laughs> They're not falling for it. It's hard it. to ask that question, BG, when they legitly have something cool behind them, you know? <laughs> it's true. It's true. Dang, yesterday we had a we had a guest on yesterday and mid interview he was like BG there's something behind you and I went and fell from my own shit, and I was pissed. Chronic trigger with black mental epilepsy and I'm telling you there's a crazy part that comes in right around this area you guys are going to love it. Uh, who does your guys audio production? About that is that fucking kid isn't even our drummer. No. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't even know how to play the song. He's just he's just a fill in for for video reasons. A fill, yeah, fill in for video reasons. No worries. Um, who does your guys uh, audio recordings? Uh, flip down at audio or er, aggressive, aggressive audio, audio. Uh, in Utah, and then we master them. We send them out to Uber Realm Studios in Germany, um, and he does our mastering. Hell yeah. Did you guys come up with the, the trivia that you feel the most comfortable about? South Park probably would be a good one. Yeah, we're pretty hard on South Park. Cool. I'm a Beavis and Butthead freak, but these guys, they're too young. So, South Park, bring I got, it. I got you. Give me just a minute here. Are you down to review some bands with us? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, you know, one thing I could do is be critical. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Cool. We can dig it. Okay with yes. This is a uh, disgust out of Australia. Disgust with burning alive. What'd you guys think of that one? Yeah, I like it's that. Dramatic. Oh, it was For pretty sure. good. I'm not gonna lie. I was a little disappointed that there wasn't an Australian accent. Like, but they're really good. Like, I got a really good groove, and that guy has a really good voice. I wish he would leave me positive voicemails. <laughs> you know, I feel like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, when he starts okay. doing vocals, he doesn't sound like Australian or anything, which is interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you kind of yeah. want that. I don't know if I'm a bad person because I want that, but you know, at least I could be honest about I don't know, that. Dude, like, think about all the all the pro deck bands from other countries, and they uh, like they nail the English accent. Something about the accent that you like, just they make sure they love, get that. Right? That is hilarious. Kind of Chronic Trigger, hope you guys have a great day. Just, It's just a voicemail from... from... <laughs> Hell yeah, that's exactly what I needed. That's exactly what I needed today. <laughs> exactly. You're, you're good enough, you're smart enough, and god darn it, people like you. <laughs> <laughs> Your first great. South Park trivia question. Jesus has a talk show called what? It's Jesus and Pals. I mean, it doesn't get any easier, right? They're gonna get harder from there. Are you guys? Do you guys play video games? Oh yeah. What's What's the best video game ever made? GTA. GTA. Uh, I'd say Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh man, I'm gonna. I'm gonna one. go. I'm gonna go Ocarina of Time. Some good picks. He invests his time in video games. <laughs> Some good picks. Oh, I'll play that in a second. Dope sick. Ride the night. All these guys are sick. I'm uh, I'm actually leaving for tour with this band on Friday. Really? Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm in a band called Not a Slib. I uh, we're tour we tour with Dope Sick. Yeah. The so side so high see stars tour. Fair enough. Hell yeah, that's awesome. Where where does the tour go? 
Um, it's going through Tahoe. We were going to play Winnemucca, but we're not now. And then we go up through Oregon, Idaho, Montana, Colorado. It's a 12-day banger, the 4th through the 17th. Awesome. Hell yeah. Well, safe travels when you when you go on. You said this Friday? Yeah, yeah. We're, our first show is in Tahoe, South Tahoe on Friday. Awesome. There's like a weird, like, boop, 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 like almost like a Morse code. It was like kind of interesting. I don't, right? know. Yeah, I don't know if I like I that. I was saying that too. I don't it's know if I. It's cool though. It is cool, but I don't know. Either way, they got they got five yays and they're in. Dope, sick ride the night. Yeah. They're awesome. I wonder if there was a specific reason why the guitar player was the only one who got to carry an instrument though. Is there like, you know, you think there's like a backstory to that? Like what nobody you else. Carry drums? <laughs> what do you carry drums? Only bass. me. You carry a bass at least. I'm just saying, you know, I'm just wondering. <laughs> I'll ask him about it. Yeah, the whole, the whole band was in, I guess, not in it. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, so we're I'm being told I have to play my wife's least favorite song. This has nothing to do with this interview, and I apologize, but here we go. It's part. I love Billy Joel. Woo! <laughs> uh, she hates him, but I love him. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Who's a, who's a, uh, I don't think I know of any songs that you guys have that feature somebody else. Is there somebody that you have in mind that you'd like to work with someday? Uh, anybody that is not a dick. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> We're always down, especially since the way that our music is, it, our vocalist, Ryan, is always doing so many vocal styles in a song. There's always room for anybody to jump in. Yeah, no, you can just so, you can come in whatever, man. It's we're cool. always down. Everyone just is like, we're like, fuck yeah, let's do it. And then when we tell them to write their own part, they get all weird and then they don't answer our calls and it could have been the pictures he sent. But, it, you know, that's not. Damn! Funny. You dig through our shit, our old videos, you'll find covers of dumb shit. Oh Jeez. yeah, we, we do we a- We covered Weezer once. We do an acapella <laughs> song actually in our content right. videos. Which one is that? Uh, you're, you're not, not gonna, gonna find that on YouTube. There. Yeah, we do that on our TikTok. On our like okay. TikToks and Instagram and stuff, we do hilarious videos. joke videos, one There's minute shorts archive. and stuff. How about we play a really old one? This is about around the time when I think you guys sent me, which I still consider one of my absolute favorite intros of all time. When you kick open the the trunk of the car and all the smoke comes out. <laughs> yeah. This is probably about the time when uh, I first discovered your band. So I want to do an old one. But uh, can you talk about foundations and like what this song actually means? Uh, it doesn't really mean it's anything. It's funny in retrospect. <laughs> <laughs> so like, we're all support. It was like it. a weird transition where like I had just joined the band. These guys like at the time they were uh, Silence Protocol. We were an instrumental band and we decided not to have a vocalist. Yeah. So and he fucking was supposed to show up for the tryouts and we forgot. He was showing up and he shows up and we're like, fuck off, dude. We're not going to have a vocalist. <laughs> we don't need you. And he's like, well, I already Damn. wrote lyrics and everything to the song. And we're like, all right, we'll give you one shot. It better be good. And this was the song. And he did. He did it. Fuck, he blew us out of the water. We were impressed. So we decided, all right, we were going to have a vocalist. But not only was this the song that he wrote lyrics to super quick and figured out and nailed it in his audition, but it was also the start of us forging the band into what it was because before that it was a fucking noise band. And so it kind of pulled it together and we kind of like, you know, it made it, it more out. serious. Yeah. It made it a little more serious. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cool. Hell yeah. Uh, Lloyd, do you have another question for him? Yeah. How did you guys all fucking meet? You guys all seem to click like super well. Like, like it just seemed like it was a match made in heaven to me. Uh, uh, accident. It, uh, yeah, it, you have to and be through willing to a lot fire of a lot of band members. <laughs> <laughs> we're just like, this is what we're fucking doing. Let's we're gonna, have fun with this. Let's music. work our asses off. And if you can keep up, fuck yeah. If you can't, Goodbye. they usually weed themselves out and we won't hesitate. If someone can't, you know, run this as a business, but also operate on the same level that we are and on the same mindset. We You're had not going to fucking last long. <laughs> Fair enough. inside joke for a while that every single tour we lost somebody. Somebody yeah. put, like, either, like... It's I a mean, good way. Much. It's a good way to find out if someone really, really 
is on the oh, same and level. We got dude. some fucking stories, dude. We've been through some shit. <laughs> that, we fucking robbed for ten grand. We got held up at knife point. We've had a shit ton of fucking breakdowns. I almost we went to went prison for fifteen to life. Fifteen to life. Oh, you and the me, me and, and the, the drummer. Me and the drummer. For mugging an old lady. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. Well, Allegedly. Don't was, mug old ladies, dude. It was the vocalist hey, of yo, another what band the I got touring with. <laughs> That's what the U.S. Marshals thought when they picked yeah, him up, yeah. is that he mugged an old lady. That's what the witness across our drummer. the street said. It was on a, it was on a <laughs> tour, fucking, the vocalist of another band was fucking uh, trying to take a bunch of money and dip, basically. And like get a plane ticket home. He he really 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 wanted to get his face smashed. He tried everything he could to get his <laughs> face smashed. The detective of Oklahoma and agreed. In the end, he got his fucking face smashed. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, so uh, chat. Uh, one of my mods is saying that a uh, bow of disgust has a positive message for you. So I don't know if that means it's in your Facebook Messenger or not, but I think that we've already set up you getting that positive voicemail that, no way, no that way. fast. <laughs> Damn, son. I'm going to set it as my alarm tone. That is awesome. That is awesome. I'm so oh, dude. That's badass. <laughs> we got time for a little bit more. Well, you never I never sent me no voicemail. I know, me either. You never asked. Me either. I got one more South Park trivia question Just for you. This this one is a little bit harder. Out there, man. Just put yourself out there. Don't be shy. <laughs> Sometimes you just meet the right dude, and he'll send you just the right voicemail. Thank yeah. you, Bo. I mean, they're Shout out to Bo. Of mask, so I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> South Park trivia. Here we go. In South Park, there's a pink eye epidemic that involves a condiment that is mixed when mixed Stop with it. No, what is the condiment? I need to know what the condiment is that causes the pink eye epidemic when mixed with embalming fluid. So you gotta go Isn't through your con ranch dressing. That is not no, correct. Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce Worcestershire. is correct. <laughs> well done. We'll see what it lands on in a second for you guys. Endbringer is next with Eternity of Suffering. Endbringer, what'd you guys think of that one? I dig it. I like I'm the down tempo us. fucking, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how I feel about the home video. I feel like they should have just been breaking shit if they had bad fucking camera or whatever. Just, you just breaking shit. Just fuck some shit up. Spill some flour and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Spill know? some flour. Really look at <laughs> Whoops, how you get how you gonna bake now, Lucy? Oh, flour on the ground. <laughs> Nobody, son, because we don't fucking care. We're heavy. Hell yeah. <laughs> Lloyd, do you have a final question for the lads in Chronic Trigger? Yo, I don't have a question, I have a statement. Like I usually leave other artists and stuff. And I'm gonna say the same thing I said last Keep doing what you're fucking doing, guys. You guys are a fucking powerhouse of fucking... You guys are, like, a, in a positive way, like Beavis and Butthead, but, like, in a trio right now. Like, exactly. you guys all click and are funny as fuck. Like, I can only <laughs> see you guys going up with the route that you're going. And keep Thanks. doing artwork, bro. You're fucking way too icy with your artwork. Oh, dude, this guy. Go check out our uh, stuff yeah, on Etsy. Go to, uh, plug it, plug it, plug it. Etsy. We have shit tons of merch on Chronic Trigger Etsy. Uh, lots of designs, lots 60 of artwork. Sixty items. Ninety percent of the artwork keep is drawing, all dude. And then scan. separate from the music stuff, you got something talented when it comes to your like merch designs and like drawing. So keep fucking going, dude. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Hell Fuck yeah. Fuck you. We <laughs> Fuck your mother. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are welcome back whenever you like. We get along just I well. Like these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Chronic Trigger, please, please, please go support them. They're absolutely awesome. At Chronic Trigger Band on Facebook, but please also check out their Etsy. They have tons of merch, tons of uh, just cool artwork in general. And be on the lookout for that Claymation video coming sometime in 2027. We'll see that a uh, little while from now. Right. No, I'm just kidding. Hopefully... <laughs> When it's ready, there. when it's ready, though, let us know. But, um, fellas, this is a lot of fun, man. I appreciate you guys joining us. Thank you so much. Be safe on the road, man. Thanks, man. Hell yeah. Chronic Thanks. Trigger! Give me a hell yeah! Whoa.